The other things that um, when you're talking about a, a nurse call system that I had to sell to the folks when we were ready to buy because everything you add on, you know, is, is a little more money, right? And so you really, <clears throat> in our environment, our reimbursement environment in Alabama, you really have to account for every dollar you're going to spend. And when I ask for real-time locate, it's like, what does that mean? Well, that means that I can find everybody I need to find on my unit and know where they are and, and measure their performance. Okay, well, that's kind of a no-brainer. And then you get into, you know, what, <clears throat> what is that really going to accomplish for you? And you start to move through that and realize, my goodness, it's just a, why would you not have that? Why would you not want that real-time locate function? So <clears throat> using uh, the nurse call system, uh, we measured uh, movement of an RN. I just wanted to see what that looked like. What, is, what does it look like for an RN um, on one of the med surge units to their, their morning? And so this uh, spaghetti diagram you're going to see here is uh, two hours from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning uh, on a med surge unit. And so this RN had 40 position changes uh, in that two hours. And he spent about 33.3 minutes in the patient's room with an average time of over two minutes in every encounter. And that's like really not a good thing. So from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning, if you don't know on a nursing unit, you're doing patient assessments, you're delivering medications, and uh, those, those are your main things that you're doing and, uh, it, it, at that seven to nine. So why in the world would you need to go to the uh, soil utility room or the clean utility room? Or why would you need to go any of those places? Why would you need to make 15 trips to the central nurses station? Um, and so in my Pollyanna world that I was trying to live in at the time, it was like, okay, in the real world, in a theoretical world, he should be going from his six rooms, from room to room to room to room in those two hours. You'd never have to go anywhere outside the patient room to do anything. And so we begin to look at, at what we were doing and we sat down with these folks and, and started to uh, really um, dig in to see what it meant to be a nurse at Decatur Morgan. So a year later after we started, this would have been in 2016, this was a, another nurses movement in that two hour period. And so we're down to 26 position changes. Um, she was spending 72.98 minutes in the patient's room, which is just a little over 70% for that two hours and about 4.56 minutes on average with each patient. So when I begin to look at her, um, her movement, uh, you'll see there was a lot of um, movement to the med room and I expected some of that because you know during from seven to nine you're given some medications. And so, I, but I had to know why she went between 4.59 up there. She went fr uh, from that room to the med room three times and I just didn't understand why she would have to go three times so I went and asked her. So why did you move? She said, well, it's funny you ask. I got in the room <clears throat> and I didn't have, I needed to crush a med and I didn't have a, a pill crusher. Oh, okay. And then um, the other time that she had to go back to the med room, she um, needed some applesauce because this patient needed to put their meds in applesauce and that's how the patient took her meds. And so I'm like, okay, well, all of that should have been ready for you when you picked your meds up. And so those little things is what we begin to tweak and make better for the staff. And so now it's not just the medicine in, in the bag, the syringe, the alcohol prep, the pill crusher or cutter or whatever it is, is supplies that are needed, the applesauce, the pudding, whatever it may be, all that is ready for the RN when they pick up their stuff. So it's not a back and forth. So we cut out three position moves for her on one patient just by adding those little things to uh, to what uh, she was doing, and that's why I share, still share this slide. So we made improvement, but since then we've made even you know more improvement uh, with those things.